her dad hides it. He would hide the remote from me and from her and hide the tablet, hide all of it. You? Oh, bitch, you I watch TV tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so here, here's a grand, grand, I guess a parenting question because parents have, especially of this generation, like they have, have a habit of like demonizing kids using the iPads and phones. So, what are, what are your thoughts a, on? We got a split household on that one because her dad hides it. He would hide the remote from me and from her and hide the tablet, hide all of it. You? Oh, bitch, you me, I would TV tonight. <laughs> no, I, wasn't, I wasn't allowed to know where it was because he's like, you're just going to turn something on and then like let her watch something so you could go do something. And I'm just like, I would, but still. <laughs> 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 so like, I'd be confined to like my laptop or phones. Yeah. I, it was just, yes, if I argued it, I could find out where the remote was, but I chose my battles wisely. I was like, you know what, hide it, do what you want. But, but for me, no, I, I don't care. You know, I feel like, yes, I have her watch it at a distance because I don't want her vision to be get impaired. Yeah. But she's such a bright child. You know, all of our kids, the, this generation is so bright. And I feel like a lot of that goes towards what they learn mm -hmm. on their iPads. There's mm -hmm. books, there's games, there's educational videos. She does yoga. Like she knows more yoga moves than I know because she's been doing children's yoga on her tablet since she was little, you know? Uh -huh. So uh, she learned about uh, condensation and planets and all of that way sooner than I would have got to teach her because she watched classroom videos on YouTube, you know? So I'm, I'm like, you know, a big advocate for giving your kids or allowing your kids to use devices. I feel like it's their right. It's their you know, they were born into this era of technology. Yeah. It's their birthright to know how to work it. Yeah. And yeah. if you take that away from them, I feel like you're just holding them back. And it's, you know, you know <laughs> if you don't want your kids having technology, fine. But, but, but when at some point they're going to enter the world, they're going to go to school and they're going to be sitting in front of a computer and there's going to be a lot more that their classmates are going to know how to do. Mm-hmm if they were allowed to use computers and, you know, technology earlier on. So yeah. I feel like, unfortunately, if you're against it, you really honestly could be holding your kid back education wise. And, uh, but we limit, you know, I have time limits on there, you yeah. know, it shuts off if she's watched so much TV and there's uh, a tantrum. Yeah, there's a temper tantrum. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, and there's rules. Like if you, she can only watch like an hour or something or 30 minutes of something enjoyable before bed. But if it's in the daytime, it has to be educational. And that's great. It's like, how can you argue with that? Yeah. How can you argue with learning? It, 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 you're learning. <laughs> like, I'm yeah. not going to sit here right now and teach you, but you, if you could learn on your own, great. Yeah. You know, so. I, 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 I agree 100% because it's like, I feel like this is the technology they're using right now is going to be the precursor of what they're going to be using in the future of or even 20, 20 years from now it's going to be a fucking it'll be i don't know if a vr and it'll be like the same hand gestures as like <laughs> the fucking the ipad but just in vr mm -hmm. exactly and it's not like in our day where we went to school and we'd sit in our computer labs and have to start doing a uh, graphic design or anything. And we're all learning at the same time at the same speed. Yeah. In their generation, there just are going to be other peers that are far ahead because of the access they had as a yeah. kid. Yeah. Like there's going to be a gap. Oh so. yeah. Cause not everyone's going to have the access to the technology, especially since mm -hmm. technology is changing so fast too. I mean, it was yeah. only like 2008, 2009, 2005 when the iPhone came out, right? I don't even know how to make a TikTok yet. So, <laughs> <laughs> I'm behind already. <laughs> so like, and yeah, when smartphones aren't even, are barely like a decade old. Mm -hmm. So it, it, yeah, it's That's crazy. Insane. So like, I agree about the whole limits, but I also I don't think, I think parents need to stop demonizing children, kids using it. Cause it's the same thing, like how fucking parents, when you're growing up playing video games is bad fucking all that shit but now look it's in the, it's a fucking sport kids winning mm -hmm. millions of dollars out of that 
Exactly, exactly. And yeah. uh, and my vision's not, I mean, I think all of us are wearing glasses. I don't know about that. But... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know I started wearing glasses because I was playing in front of the, the, the TV like this. I'm trying to okay, I'm remember. not gonna lie. I did get Nora blue light glasses. So my child at five years old does have blue light blocking glasses that I, she has to wear if she's using her like tablet or you know. I think I'm, I I I might actually ask you for those after because uh, the doctor said <laughs> if he keeps doing this, it's gonna affect his vision. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She's wearing blue light. I have blue light. I I stop like if I'm at work, all, my glasses they've got the 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 blocking ones so that's important like that's one thing that we ought to do to offset but yeah and then dancing she learns she takes dance classes on on the thing too all of that so well it's cool would you ever want to share the stage with her (laughs) yeah of course (laughs) i freaking cry i tried like i think one thing i skipped out on saying was when i was teaching i ended up I, I enrolled her in her first dance classes yeah. and I was one of those obsessive moms who never left <laughs> the glass window. I'm just like <laughs> recording just like every second watching. I mean, I, that would be me too. But her teacher actually ended up asking if I'd like to help out because they one of, they, one of their instructors quit. And so I ended up actually working in my daughter's classroom and being one of her teachers oh. for her first year of dance. And she was very young, but she expressed her disdain even at a young age. She didn't like it. She, was... she wouldn't listen to me. <laughs> in the classroom, she would ignore me in front of all the other kids. <laughs> and I'd be like, okay, point your toe, like time to tap, time to do this. And, and she'd go around the room, do across the floors, and then she'd come to me and she'd just like stop. And then she'd go to the next teacher and she'd do it again. And I'm just <laughs> so it sucked. Uh, it's mom. <laughs> Fuck you. God, yeah, yeah, she did. She didn't when like when it. Jordan was in school, he would be too cool to say hi to me and Steph. He'd just be like, I'm with my friends. Like, I'm like, all right, I see how it is. Mm-hmm. You don't pass yeah. me. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it would have been amazing if she would have listened and we could dance together in the room, even. And but she'd look at me and just stand there. Like it's, it's, if I if, if I looked too happy to see her doing what she was doing, I swear she'd stop. <laughs> it's it's like the precursor to be to her being a teenager oh for sure mm-hmm, for sure yeah mm-hmm. all right 